guys. So, um, that was a bit late, wasn't it? Hey, you guys. But, um, yeah, there's a video that was, I'm sure you guys have watched it by, um, It's Kingsley. And, um, <clears throat> I'll put his, uh, link down here. And he did a video called I Hate. Then my friend Leanne did it, and then my friend Shauna did it. So, I'm going to jump on the hating wagon with them. I'm not going to beep out all the curse words in this video if there is any because I'm probably going to be saying it really really fast and I can't catch up with it um and it's going to be so annoying because all you're going to hear is beep 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 so um bear with me one thing that I hate the most is when people go onto Facebook and they are telling you to suggest your friends to them so they can add everyone and you know Facebook kind of has a limit for a reason and the limit is just above 5,000. Uh, I think it's under 5,200 around there. And people feel the need to get their friends to suggest their friends to you. I don't know if that even that made sense, but you get the point where they ask you to suggest your friends to them so they can add them. This book was originally made for, you know, people that you do know, like your relatives and your school friends and people you mean holidays stuff like that just you know more kind of personal if you're just adding people because they're one of your friends friends it's just completely pointless it's stupid this isn't myspace and there is no myspace whoring so you know it's just it's ridiculous and annoys the shit out of me and i just i just delete that person i hate the most as well when people twitter like every freaking two minutes they freaking raping my dashboard, which is just so freaking annoying. Like, I just instantly unfollow. Bye. I'm pretty sure all of you guys can relate to this one, is that when you're in a grocery store or you're in any store. So here you are at your cash register, and you the girl is scanning her stuff, and sometimes you're in a rush and you're just, you just want her to hurry up. But no, what does she do? She goes and she talks to her freaking friend about, you know, freaking clubbing last night. Like, do your job. You know, I want to go somewhere, I have things to do, you're getting paid for this shit. You're not getting paid to sit there and have gossip with your fucking friend. It's just so freaking annoying. Employees pestering you. Now, all of you have been to a place called Claire Accessories, and have you noticed that every time you go in, they follow you around with a freaking basket, and they're like, would you like a basket? And you're like, no thanks, just buying a set of earrings. Would you like a basket? No thanks, just buying some earrings. No, really, would you like a basket? No, I'm buying some goddamn fucking earrings. I do not want your basket. How? And then, you know, they... I'm lost for words right now. And then they freaking, like, follow you. You know, you're walking around, you're looking at whatever you're looking at. She comes up freaking behind you. Would you like a basket? People who aren't on time. How annoying can this get? Sometimes, you know, fair enough if you're a few minutes late. But when you are like 30 minutes late to an hour late, it's just like, it just ruins your whole day, don't you think? It ruins my day anyways. Here in Ireland we have a thing called Sky Plus and you are able to record, fast forward, pause and rewind TV channels. When you record something, it goes automatically in a thing called a planner and you get to watch it whenever you feel like watching it. Do you know what's the most fucking annoying thing ever? People delete your fucking shit. It is so frustrating. You get so angry and you just want to delete all their stuff. And it's like, why did you do that? It's just the most irritating thing ever, especially when you know you can't watch it again because it's not on replay or anything. In Dublin, when you're walking around in the city, these junkies, they ask you, do you have a euro? Do you have a euro? You say no. Some of them walk away. Now the girl junkies, they go up to you. I know you have a fucking euro. Blah, 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 blah. If you don't give me a euro, I'm going to fight you. Blah, 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 blah. First off, threatening someone isn't going to make them give you a fucking euro. We know you're not going to buy tea, a room in a hostel. We all know you're going to go get high. We all know it. Also, we all know that you make over 50 bucks a day. Beggars. You know those people on the street freaking begging? Some of them have freaking, you know, designer hoodies and a full on luxurious pram with the baby in it. You might want to try begging when you look a little bit like you need the money. 
um, probably stolen, but still, it's still stuff. Okay, when people have an exam, whether it's school, whether it's work, whether it's passing a test for either a driver's license or anything like that, updating their status on Facebook every 10 minutes complaining on how hard and how scared they are. First off, doing that isn't going to make you any smarter. Two, it's not going to help either. Three, why don't you just get off Facebook, pick up your goddamn book, and actually learn something, than just sitting there whining about shit on Facebook. Duh. Public toilets, especially girls and gay guys who like to be very, very hygienic, and same with just normal, decent guys. Nobody wants to see your piss on the fucking toilet seat. No one wants to see your crap down the toilet seat. And nobody wants to smell that shit anywhere. So all you gotta do is just flush. You know, just push the handle. Then after, just put some sanitizer on your hands. Or wash your hands. It isn't a fucking rocket science. One of my favourite artists, Dead Mouse. When people are like, Oh, they're my favourite, favourite, favourite DJ ever. And you're just kind of like, mm -hmm. What's your favourite song? Of course it has to be ghosts and stuff huge fan they can't even call him his right name example dead mao five dead mao five dead mao five dead mao five are you serious people who text you and tell you to call them you call them they don't answer you call them again they don't answer and again they don't answer what was the fuck point in that spelling like a fucking retard example That isn't going to get you anywhere in college. People asking you to pass on questions even though they have their number or they're their friend on Facebook or any social networking site, why can't you just go and do it yourself? So where I live we get the train to the city and there is a place where I like to go called Newbridge. Now I get the train, it stops at every single train station except for that one station. So I gotta go reach the last station, which is the big city one, and then travel 30 minutes back to where I freaking came up from. What harm is it in stopping for a minute when you're able to stop at every other one you've just been through? Last but not least, when people on Facebook take the same picture 60 times, and I'm not exaggerating, I actually mean 60 times, of the same photo at the same angle, if not at least one degree apart, and it's just so annoying. You probably have seen it and you're probably like, what the fuck? Example. Just take the one picture and be fucking happy with it. Thank you. So what annoys you guys the most, post underneath or you can add a video response. If and if you guys want to see any other videos, don't be afraid to request it. And I want to say thank you for Sean for requesting this video. And it's been quite fun um, thinking about all those things that annoy me have gotten me on one of those runs again but yeah thank you for subscribing thank you for requesting and i'll talk to you guys later